Hello everyone, welcome to Automators Industry Projects. I'm Santosh and in this video I will be explaining you about address registers AR1 and AR2 in Siemens Steel language. Address register, uh, here I have uh, prepared few notes and uh, this uh, note you can get it from S7 help and also I will attach this file that in the video um, with a link that you can get this. So LAR N loads an area pointer into address register ARN as a source you can select an area internal or area crossing pointer or a double word from temporary local data global data instant data and we represent it as a load address register 1 or 2 with a pointer number and if you don't um, provide a any um, pointer then it will load the data from accumulator 1 to the address register 1. So here the, the details are given and for similarly TARN transfers the complete ARN to the destination and when we don't provide any destination transfer to the accumulator 1. So if we, if we use the programming options below together with registers and accumulators listed we have to make sure that we restore the contents of the registers or accumulators yourself otherwise the errors may occur and this is here the complete note i will also give this um, sheet in a link so let's uh, start with an example that we get a clear idea then a theoretical part so okay so as um, we have seen in the notes that we should always save and restore the address registers before we use them. If you want to work with both address registers and with both data block registers in a function block, you must first save the contents of the registers and restore them again at the end of your program. Please note that you can no longer address block variables in a function block if you as assign your values to the DR registers and the AR2 registers. And below is the example which is prepared and it compares the data area word wise and sets a data bit in another data block that is in db um, 14 we check a uh, comparison data and we set a bit in db 15 so the program is prepared here so let's start as i said uh, here in the network that we have to save and restore address registers so first we prepare a network where we save the address registers together with the data block registers the data block registers are db registers so in in tab we have prepared that a buffer for db register and dbi memory this is a second db register and ar1 memory and ar2 memory and a temporary storage for the comparison value and quantity data and in stat we have this quantity data and comparison value we have um, made a copy in temp value to store them you see comparison value and quantity with temporary so first load the db number load db register to db memory this is db memory the temp we are copying the db number this is db 14 and we are transferring it to db memory then load dino the second uh, db number which is indicated with din with di the first db is open with always db when you're opening the second db then it should be di so di number so it's an instance db number um, here 125 because fb 125 and db 125 and transfer them to um, to the temporary memories and also similarly we transfer the address register 1 and address register 2 that we save them before we work on the registers okay and next store the values from the instant data block temporarily before the register contents are changed so before working on the register contents let's store the the stat value this is quantity data and comparison value in the in the temp part here yeah and here also you can see um, the db number opened is here db number first db1 is 14 and 
second load di and o this is fb125 and with instance db db125 so both dbs are opened and in address register 1 address register 2 we have no values for being for time being and um, so db14 and db125 are opened well this part is clear so here also comparison value we have 1 2 3 4 and in quantity data we have 20 which is forced i will show you in the next um, work table so let's uh, let um, execute this example the comparison okay pre assign the register with your own values and work with these values search data field in db14 and set bit in db15 so before using this db14 and db15 so let's um, let's set the pre assign register value to them open data index this is symbolic address you see here D for db14 open db14 and this is db plus ar 1.2 db14 dot dbx 60.0 because we are loading dbx 60.0 in address register 1 that means for db14 we are opening the bit 60.0 with address register 1 that means we are pointing to 60.0 you can see also in address register 1 here we have 60.0 now open di okay now you see here the di is changed to 15 because we want to open the other db 15 not the last one which was having here the instance db now we want to open the global db 15 okay so you can see here from 125 db2 is now 15 so in the beginning before this here 14 and 125 were opened and now we are opening 14 and 15 so this is the reason we always have to save the the <coughs> registers and we restore them at the end of the network so let's uh, see now we have opened the data index db14 and we have opened the db15 as i said you when you are opening the two blocks we have to make them segregation with db and di which which we have done you see db plus di okay and we are adding the address register 2 for this db db15 with db15 dot dbx 10.0 so now we are ready with the address register and pointer that db14 dot dbx 60.0 db15 dot dbx 10.0 and you can see in address register 2 we have 10.0 and address register 1 we have 60.0 then I hope uh, in um, you have the um, information on the loop how does it work if it's not then please write it down in the comment box that I can explain in the next video but let's start here load the quantity data so the quantity data here is 20 then transfer to loop counter that we make a count 20 times so the loop counter is 20 now and load the comparison value the comparison value is 1 2 3 4 and load w this is word and pointer address register 1 ar1 with p hash 0, 0.0 so now the db which is opened 14 and with address register 1 that is dbx 60.0 so in AR1 we have a pointer value 60.0 plus offset P hash 0, 0.0 so AR1 60.0 plus P hash 0, 0.0 we have to add them then it is 60.0 so the value from DB14 dot DBA, DBW60 here in this we have DBW60 is compared with the value which is there in comparison value so let's see what we have in 60 dbw60 db14 so we open the vac table okay so in db14 db w60 we have 1 2 3 5 
okay one two three five so we just make it zero here okay now um, as per our logic we have to compare one two three four and with uh, dbw 60 value of db14 so we have 0 and 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 is of course greater than 0 so then we have to set a bit in address register 2 that is address register 2 that means db15 uh, db x 10.0 plus offset p 0, 0.0 that is db15 dot dbx 10.0 so in that table we see db15 dot dbx 10.0 is set to true because it's greater than 1 it's greater than um, the comparison value is greater if i make this value 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 then this bit should be 0 because the comparison value is less than 1 2 3 5 hope you guys are clear i explain you one more time the comparison value was 1 2 3 4 you can see also here the comparison value is 1 2 3 4 and the pointer value is 1 2 3 5 that is db 14 dot dbw 60 in that we have the value 1 2 3 5 so 1 2 3 4 is not greater than 1 2 3 5 that's we that's why we are not setting the bit of ar2 that is 10.0 in db 15 db 15 dot dbx 10.0 is set to 0 and then we are incrementing the um, address register to 2 and uh, address register to 2.1 and address register 1 to 2.0 that means it goes on increasing till uh, the counter is completed uh, till the loop counter is completed so here you see when dbw60 is 1 2 3 5 the bit is false because 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 5 is greater than 1 2 3 4 and here it's less than 1 2 3 4 that's why the bit is true but if i make it also 1 2 3 5 or 1 3 3 5 you see the bit will get true false and here the next bit is false because the value is also greater if i make it zero the value is less than comparison value then the bit is true so similarly this is how he is comparing with the values and based upon that he is changing the bits hope this point is clear i know this is a little bit difficult but if you still have any queries please write it down in the comment box i will try to explain it in more detail uh, and i think um, we will stop for this point and in the next video we will um, see that how we can swap the address registers and uh, also as i said you that when you are um, um, finishing up with the uh, with your program with address registers you always have to restore the registers that means we are restoring the the db you see 0 um, db1 with 14 db2 uh, is um, with 125 what we have uh, in the beginning here we are opening them again and also we are trans uh, loading the address registers what we have saved in the beginning so this is how you have to do first you have to save the address registers with the data block registers and then you have to restore them this we have to do in any condition otherwise as you can see di registers and address registers yeah, two are used on the same side for the fb and multiple instance calls and should not therefore be modified within fbs and address section is used by some of the loadable standard blocks i think um, after this video also just please go through these notes in s7 help which are very useful and also the points which are mentioned in excel sheet and as i said you that i'm i always welcome the guys who um, are uh, posting the queries in comment box and in the next coming video i will try to explain you about the swap address registers that how we have to do the swap address registers and how to add the address registers how we can add the address registers and these things I will explain in the next video. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe.